Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create this mountain landscape in Gride Designer. So let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac. And I'm gonna size it with 675 pixels width and 550 pixels height. Click Create. And first thing first, let me grab my sketch and through it here so i have this little sketch i want to place it right in the bottom and lock it on my left clicking on this small padlock icon now i'm going to decrease the opacity of this layer so i can see only the prominent uh, lines of my sketch and start tracing my design with a pen tool so uh, take your pen tool and i'm gonna start with the main element of my design with my mountain. Now I'm gonna select the fill and delete the fill, lock it on the new layer, deselect my artwork and grab the pen tool again because uh, now I'm gonna create this and I'm gonna start with the center again guys if you don't know how to use pen tool in Gravity Designer how to create a smooth lines how to create a straight line I highly encourage you to watch my tutorial on the pen tool during Gride Designer tutorials group you could uh, you can see the link in the description during Gride Designer user group because you can switch between pen tool and uh, subselect tool using top key you can learn about all the shortcuts in Gride Designer Following the link in the description, I prepared a little article for you about top shortcuts that I use and also I link to the graphic designer cheat sheet. So uh, now what we should do with these uh, cliffs, we need to select one of them, well we actually need to select all of them and uh, select the border and delete it then with uh, our fill layer i'm gonna navigate to the gradient as watch as here i have prepared this gradient already so for this gradient i have in the bottom i have a color f f e d d e and on the top I have the color DD, DC, D1. Pretty nice. Now let's uh, add a fill color to our mountain. And first of all, delete the border, add the fill. And with this fill, I have this pretty nice uh, color FFE9D8. Uh, now, guys, I'm gonna create a background so I can properly see uh, all the cliffs and all the mountains. Uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool or click R and create a, a rectangle that has a width of entire artboard, 675 pixels, and the height is 100 pixels. Then I'm going to duplicate it using Ctrl D command. It's produced a duplicate on top and shift it to the right and to the bottom on 10 pixels. And I'm going to place it on 100 pixels to the bottom. And then I can Ctrl T, Ctrl T to repeat this operation over and over. I'm going to select them all on my last panel holding Shift key. And with the Ctrl Shift 
down arrow or command shift down arrow I'm gonna move it right behind my mountain so now that I have uh, to set the fill color I'm gonna navigate again to my swatches and apply this uh, swatch FFSC38E then uh, for the second line I have this swatch FFB78E for the third line I have this um, F79C78 and for the fourth I have uh, this swatch E8 Eight nine six four, and for the last, I'm gonna simply sample this color. It will be behind the hill. So it's time to create the sun. Looks very good. And for the sun, I have a simple circle. So it should be right in the center of our artboard, and the width of the circle is around three cliffs of our mountain. Now I'm gonna move it again to the behind the mountain, like so. And for this sun, I have a very nice color. This uh, reddish color, BB three F five one. I'm gonna place it right on top a bit and scale it. Like so. So we have the mountain, and let's create uh, hills on the front of the mountain. I'm gonna grab again my pen tool and draw the first hill. But before I start drawing, let's select all of uh, the design elements and Ctrl G, Command G to group them. And I'm going to decrease the opacity of them, so I can see what's going on on my sketch. So it looks nice. Uh, now deselect your art artwork, and I uh, can even log them here. Uh, I'm going to start with the heel. And the second one. And I'm gonna put this hill, of course, behind the first one. So I have these two hills in front, and I'm gonna apply the very uh, cold colors to them. So it's kind of a theta contrast to the overall picture, to the overall background. So for the first, I have this. Uh, dark blue and for the second I have this uh, dark green looks nice guys I create this wavy um, trees but um, I'm gonna show you how to simply create a trees with a rectangle uh, with a triangle so create a triangle hold shift key to put it on one side then Decrease the height of the third triangle and make a couple of duplicates holding Alt and Shift key. Now select all of your um, tree with the Shift key and uh, navigate to the merge. I'm gonna merge this uh, tree and then select my the color from the hill, then going here and here. Of course, uh, to denote some perspective, I'm gonna scale down a bit these trees. Ctrl G, Command G to group them, Ctrl Shift D to clone them, and then I'm gonna flip them vertically. Put it here as well, and open my group, select all the shapes with the Shift key and sample this color like so. So it's time to ungroup our initial design. This one with the Ctrl Shift G or Command Shift G. Looks pretty nice. Um, 
the only scene and only detail I want to add to this uh, picture, I want to uh, create a couple of um, mountains on the front of this mountain. So, in order to do that, I'm gonna grab again the triangle tool, hold shift again, create a triangle, place it on one of the sides. I'm gonna move this uh, triangle behind the hills. Uh, for this triangle I have a solid color. I believe this is uh, one of them. Yes, it's a solid color that is uh, uh, EB3D6. Uh, and I'm gonna put another one and scale it a bit down. Put it on the bottom. Uh, now to denote the volume, to add the volume, I'm gonna grab the pen tool and draw. Then I'm gonna grab pointer tool, select both of uh, these shapes, move it behind the heels. Brilliant. And I'm gonna delete the border. Apply the same gradient as uh, I um, reserve it to the heels. So I'm gonna to I'm gonna navigate to the gradient and apply this gradient. Then I'm gonna reverse it direction, and then I select one of them separately, yeah. one of them individually, and move this uh, dark blue color on the bottom like so so guys this is basically the end of this tutorial if you enjoyed give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join gravity gravity designer tutorials group and gravity designer user group you can find the links in the description thank you for watching have a nice day